The young and the restless has telegraphed an imminent tragedy in such a big way, they've probably heard about it on Mars, and given that in the September 25 episode, Heather caught Sharon trying to sneak out of her apartment after poisoning the whiskey, the smart money is on the attorney winding up becoming a casualty of the grieving mom's revenge plot. But that would be obvious, right? After Wednesday's show, predictable, so perhaps the soap is pulling a fast one on us and setting up Heather as a supposed victim when really, it's Daniel who is going to be killed. Maybe he rushes in and in defending Heather, is fatally struck down. You have to admit, that would be shocking. On the other hand, to send Daniel to the morgue would mean no more Michael Graziadet, and under no circumstances should Young and Restless ever let him go again. The guy could strike up chemistry with a rock, he's so good. He's also one of the very best at coming off natural on screen. Take, for example, Daniel's recent dinner with Phyllis and Summer. We didn't feel like we were watch Graziadai act, we felt like we were eavesdropping on a family confab. Plus, if Sharon were to kill Daniel, even accidentally, how the heck would she remain a viable character? She'd wind up having to go the Patty Williams route, and we hardly think the show is going to celebrate Sharon Case's 30th anniversary by shipping her character off to a mental hospital. What do you think? Who will fall prey to Sharon's vendetta? On your way to the comments, review the below photo gallery for a primer on Daniel's life story. May it go on forever.